Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're on Bar Street in downtown Kedipathos. Of course, this is the future Marika and Me Lounge Bar. And to be honest, it looks as though we're open because we've got quite a few visitors today. Even a friend of mine is here doing some maintenance. He's unblocked that upstairs drain that was giving us some problems. And he's been around looking at the plumbing. And uh, hopefully over the next few days, we're going to get hooked up to the water. And of course, the electricians are coming and going and they're going to get us hooked up to the electricity. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin Krasilia Labu. Hello, everybody. I need to call this rat. How nice to see you again and again to our to our family welcome back to our family we are so nice and happy today because you will see now why there's an awful lot of people upstairs this is the hollywood staircase by the way and to the rear of course is the hollywood wall of fame and if you want to get your name on that and help to make this bar become a reality and of course the greatest bar in downtown kedapath for us why not go and hunt us down on paypal Look for these magic words, Paul G. Cyprus, that's P-A-U-L-G-E-E, -E, Cyprus. And of course you could gift us and purchase a brick at 50 pounds, or perhaps even gift us that a little bit more. Perhaps if your name is Dayman, the girl in charge of the show, Lord Andy, Lady Ness, of course, Lord Martin, Baron Von Segar, and Lady Victoria. We are really, really happy. And thank you very much for all your help, our dearest members of family. We appreciate it to pieces. We do indeed. We're in the upstairs lounge bar area. Spectacular ceilings. We've got a fabulous chandelier and this is the area on top of the downstairs bar which we're going to try and make into a mini version of downtown Kedipathos. Drop in the comments and give us some of your ideas. And now you will see how many people came, arrived to see us, just to see us, to bring to us uh, that very hope and uh, opinions, opinions, very important. And we listen to every single person who is coming and giving us an advice or two. Uh, we're really, really thankful. And look how many look, members of family we've got. Look how they are here. We've got a gentleman called Paul Jones. He's having a chat with Baron Simon. There's his evil twin, Baron Jeremy. And we've got a couple of others who are high ranking as well. Baroness Louise, that's the beauty in the background. And of course, that's Baron John. And we've got a new gentleman. He's only a mister, but not from now on. From now on, he is known as Sir Peter of the... How do you say your surname? Tyso. Tyso. I was going to say Tiso, as in watch. Tyso. Tyso. There we are. It's Superstar. It's Norwegian originally. Norwegian? Viking blood. Viking blood. So I've got a bit of Viking blood in me because originally our family apparently came from that area, Scotland, and then worked their way down yeah. eventually to North Wales. Yeah, I'm we're from. the same. Yeah, you're the same. Except they got as far as Bedford in our case. You got a bit further than us then because yeah. we sort of congregated around Manchester. They reckon it was when, when the, the ooze was still navigable by longboats. Ah. They got as far as that and couldn't be bothered to go home again. So they settled... That, married the local asses. That's it? right, yeah, that's what, that's what my father found out, yeah. And we had a weird, weird, weird name. They dropped it and became Mac G in Scotland, and as they worked their way down, they dropped the Mac yeah, well, and became our, G. Our name was originally T-Y-S, and then the O with the slash through mm, it. Because mm. my dad went to Sweden, and the hotel clerk in the Stockholm Hotel spelt it that way. Uh -huh. They said, there's lots with that name here. So <laughs> that's where you're originally from. See, a lot of blood mixed in with the British people. Mm. And of course, that's why the British like to venture everywhere, like to downtown Cato Paphos, to the Marika Bar. <laughs> so Lange nice Bar. of you, Mr. Peter, that you were so sorry, sorry. Poof, 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 poof. That uh, sir now, yes? He's a sir. <clears throat> that he arrived and he really gave us an attention. Uh, thank you for every opinion and for coming as well. Thank you so much. Now we are now, going slowly to Baron this beautiful there is. woman. Oh, there she and is, and Baron John. Baron Louise and Baron John. What is your opinion, our dearest John? This is the first time we've obviously um, seen the bar, and right away you, you can see the potential, the absolute potential in this location, and the layout is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure with the visions you've got, you will achieve everything you want. And he's a project manager as well. Retired, much. so we haven't got to pay him for his advice anymore. <laughs> 
Here's Beauty, Baroness Louise. Louise. She is retired as well. A couple of words about what you thought when you just come in. I know in the camera and in real, it's different. Yeah, it's it, there's, it's challenge. It's going to be a challenge for you, but I think you'll, you know, you strive and you'll make that happen. Your your dream, always been your dream, hasn't it? It's I know the that dream. we're talking it's to you. It's a dream indeed. Um, and I think I think you'll do that. But um, it's good to have a challenge. Good to have a challenge. So thank it you is indeed. Thank yes. you very much. Thank right. You. One of the pains. <laughs> who are you now? Who are you? Who is who? Couple of pains. Double. Guess, Double. go on. Guess, you've got 50% chance. Simon. No. 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 As I usual, I make a mistake, Jerry. We always know no. which one oh, Simon, no. because if you lift his hat <laughs> up, <laughs> he's got... I've probably got multiple scars, Mr. A little Paul. mark got one on there, his eye. One and there. A, and, a, and a cigar. I'm mentally scarred. Stubbed out on his head. Right. Okay, we'll start for... Don't lie to me. Who are you? Right. Okay. I am Baron Simon, and this is Baron Jeremy. And we are now not barons, we are janitors and road sweeps, as of yesterday. Well, you're... Sweep Simon and sweep Janitor Simon Jeremy. Sweep Simon and Janitor Jeremy. We've given our baronhoods to the uh, Nantwich crew. And uh, forevermore, we are known as janitors and sweeps. <laughs> so you got to laugh at him, haven't you? Here we are. And a new recruit, a Mr. Yes. Paul, yes. with... Actually, it's not a Welsh surname, is it? Because Jones is not a Welsh surname. It's just common in Wales. Well, it is, yes, but I, I have got Welsh heritage. But you've got Welsh blood in you as well? Yeah, I'm half he Welsh. Like he looks so like your Uncle Paul. Does he? <laughs> My dad was <laughs> Welsh. So. Oh, he's Welsh? Yes. Welcome to the clan. <laughs> Where do you live now? In, in Shropshire. 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 Yes. Shropshire. On the Welsh border, actually. So, On the Welsh border. Yes. Yeah. So I got a feeling that you live pretty close to the man known as Lord Andy, and of course Lady Ness. Yes, he's got a Land Rover parts business. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he lives in a well, he lives in most of Shropshire because he is the Lord of Shropshire, yeah. obviously. Yes. And he's got a lot of money because he sells Land Rover parts, and everyone knows that Land Rovers break down a lot. Yeah. They do. do. <laughs> what car have you got? It's uh, an Astra. Sensible but, man. Yeah. Sensible man. It's old. Sensible man. <laughs> it's old, but it's sensible. Christina Booth, come on, let's go and have a look. Let's leave them all to chat. No. No. Nope. We missed. Oh. One gentleman. We missed this one. Here. What would you like to know? Please, I would like to know your opinion on camera. Just oh, because okay. We do it by turn. I'm like Baroness Louise. I'm yes. just saying it's lots of lots of project, lots of little things to do, but just take everything in bite-sized chunks because lots of little wins make one big win, don't they? So it's quite overwhelming at the moment. Everywhere you look, you think, oh my God, there's things to do. But yeah, just, um, I know you guys will get there because you've got the drive and you're ambitious and you've got the backing of us, all us lot, and we're all behind you as well, so. And how long are you here for? I'm here one for one more, one more week. One more week. Yeah, next Wednesday we leave, 27th. Right, let's go and get some gloves. So uh, get real. those marigolds. <laughs> I still haven't bought my marigolds yet. It reminded me, I've got to. Have you got I'm some? I'm going to go and get you a pair. Because we've got, we got, we got the floor to remove, haven't we? The bar open. <laughs> it's the bar open. It's yet, the yeah. bar open yet. Yeah. You can tell he's Welsh, can't you? Easter, yes. <laughs> That's your Easter. Uncle Paul. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Designer blister. Yeah. Uh, I would like to say that these two, uh, for me, I always say when, they, when their mother gave a birth, she was happy, very happy, because it's not very often... Don't slide down with your uh, glasses, Mr. Paul. It's not. It's a very rare individual thing when you have a twins. We all know, Louise. You know, and uh, none of me. We are two women here. We never gave a birth to the twins, unless if I don't know. <laughs> so if you want these two. These two gentlemen, campus. I thought about them too today, and whilst we were coming here, I remembered about the blister that's supposed to be on your fingers yesterday, and I couldn't sleep from the... Show us the, the blister. The worries. No, no, he says, no, 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 no. But today, you've got the gloves, guys, so uh, thank you very much for yesterday's help, and it was around about two and a half hours. They were just brushing and brushing non-stop. And, uh, of course, it causes a blister or two, especially if you're not very uh, brush a person, you know, you never... <laughs> I am. Right, you two, you guys can all stay up here, but you two are coming downstairs because I've got a pair of gloves for each of you. So, come on, proceed. What, you, lead you. what do you mean? Get so, down, I can buy gloves, gloves for everybody. You've got a day off. You've got a day off. <laughs> so, to make our job easier, 
No, we are taking all the people downstairs because I, we want these people to say their opinion about the things to be done. I actually can buy how many more pairs? Four more pairs. It's not, really not very cheap. expensive. Pair, so so we, are, we are going down with go all on, of let's you. Let's go down. And as we go down, I'll tell you about some of the things. Baron Jeremy, Baron Simon said that could be a great location for picture of you guys, perhaps with Marika and me or perhaps with someone else that you like in the Marika and me yeah. crew, shall we say. Well, this, like people said, it's got potential. Everywhere you look, you can rearrange it in the way that people really said it. So as I said to Mr. Sir Peter, I always listen to every single person. Why? Because these people have an idea. I know we all different, but at the end of the day, if you pick up a little bit ideas of every single person, it's gonna be so nice when they arrive and say, oh, that was my idea, that was my idea. And it's, this is how it to be done. This in my opinion, actually, this is what right, I come on, think. Let's get to the gloves. That's the Wall of Fame, okay. by the way, on the Hollywood stairs. The and don't forget, well. if you want your name on it, and on the staircase, yes, Baron Jeremy, Baron Simon, have come up with a great the idea. The Walk of Fame. Yes. Let's turn around and show, as people are coming down, the Walk of Fame. So if Some you people, want your name on a step, all it costs that is like 200 a walk pounds. of shame, there, isn't it? Well, he's a shameful gentleman, isn't he? <laughs> we haven't quite... Uh, Got around, I had to around a walk down. of shame yet. But. Somebody's seen the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Baron John's coming down, Baroness Louise oh, is coming finally down. Finally, we got some gloves. Gloves, gloves. So Paul and of course Sir Peter, they're all coming down. That's so the whole thank you. Of the thing. Get the gloves on, come on, get them on. And get this carpet pulled up. Stop mucking around. Because Dame Anne's watching you and she's prepared to come and remove that head. I check my head. Yeah. Screw it on. Pull some of this carpet. Let's see you working for a change. Come on, just get on the end of it both of you, and let's see you pull that carpet, and then it'll be time for the big, big goodbye. And then we're gonna work them to death. You know, most people come to Cyprus for a relaxing holiday. You know, they sit back, sip a Nigel big guns, and enjoy the sun, and you know, the ambiance. Us boys. <laughs> but some people have to put the gloves on and start working. This actually. is what he means. Get them on. Actually. You see, get them on. Well, gloves are coming on. Are you going to film how they are removing? I want them to pull that piece of carpet up just for a laugh. Just for a laugh. Why for a laugh? Come on, get you back into it. Look at that. There we go. Is that it? We're going to be here for weeks. We're going to be here for weeks. <laughs> It's these two people. I tell you. <laughs> the two barons hard at work in the Marika and me lounge bar. It's not if a you bad surface, yeah. On a big bird or a canoe and coming to give us a hand. Why not? Well, we're going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like, smash that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back and have a little bit more. Madness. Come on, let's have a big group photo. Come on. Oh, oh, hold on. He's putting his back into it a little bit more. <laughs> this is what we like to see. <clears throat> Don't damage the floor. Don't damage the floor underneath. <laughs> Some of the parts are just oops not too bad but so much dust come on you two things. get together it's the big big goodbye from the marie crew me crew at the marie crew me lounge bar thanks for watching we'll see you again very very soon indeed all i would like to say at the end thank you very very much for coming and valuing us that high for us even that in this dirty atmosphere, undone, and everything to be done, and everything in the future plans, we are really, really valuing your coming and your presentation here today. Just remember that we are loving you all, and everything is going to be done just for your relaxing atmosphere here, for you to enjoy here, and we really, really hope 
that once you've been here, you will always would love to come here again. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. And we love in YouTube, it's our dearest members of family. You see how friendly members of family we've got, loving and kissing you from the bottom of our eight hearts. I've already counted before. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you very, very much indeed. I'll be careful as I walk back because uh, we've had some of this floor up and, uh, well, we've discovered a bit of a damp patch. If your name's Duke Ian, I don't think that a well-placed plant pot is going to hide it. But you never know. Perhaps the Baroness, known as Tracy, might come and help us out. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye. Very, very soon. Indeed.